Once upon a time, there were three little girls who worked very hard. Their names were Sheila, Valerie, and Fayette. One day, while they was working and singing, a man in a big Rolls Royce sedan drove up. It was the famous film producer, Ruthless Ritchie. He heard their beautiful voices. He couldn't believe his ears. In spite of this, he said, I can make you a star, but you'll have to work. We'll do anything, even clean your shoes, man. I mean hard work. You'll have to practice dancing. You'll have to keep fit. A fit body is a fit uh, something or other. And singing, boy, you need plenty of practice at that. But Ruthless was never satisfied. One day, after a long and tiring rehearsal, Richie walked up and said, Now you ready. <laughs> We're here for a club season and to do some TV work and a color film special that's our very first time doing. And in the meantime, we're going to try to sneak in some fun and entertainment if we can. Yeah, sneak in the meantime. Fun. <laughs> well, we might have some time. What's it like traveling with three beautiful girls? Well, sometimes it can be difficult and sometimes it can be nice. Our manager's pretty thorough. He keeps our nose to the grindstone. You oh. believe? No, I'm not very hard. I think I'm the easiest guy in the world to get along with, as long as you do what I tell you. One of the problems in travel is that we get so tired. Yeah. Yeah, you're not kidding. You <laughs> just on 22 and 22 hours on a plane is a long time to get off looking like a star. You know? <laughs> no, travel doesn't make them tired. They're young. They can take it, you know? Sure, we'd like to get married. Everybody would, but it's hard now because we're traveling and like every two weeks we're someplace else and you can't meet a guy and really get to know him well enough to really get anything going with him because you're moving around. And I guess someday we'll find a guy that we can call ours forever and ever.
publicity is concerned, rather. I like to keep people informed of everything they do. It's important. Publicity-wise, he tells everything about us. But our age. I wonder why he doesn't release that. Well, they don't even tell me that. You know, I guess we're pretty lucky because we get along well normally together. I mean, it's hard for three people that live together all the time to really dig each other and to get along, but we really do. Everything is like dip diplomatic and democratic and the majority rules, and it keeps everything cool. But um, sometimes we have problems with this kid over here, Valerie. No, you don't sometimes. Mean, no, you oh, don't. yes, we no, do. No, You know, girls, it's hard to find a guy that really blows your mind. And you just dig everything he does, like, like when he gives you that great big special hug and that mm, heavy kiss. Girls, you know the kind. The kind that's in the wrong place at the wrong time, and it really turns you on. Well, I had a guy like that. And then that time that happens to all of us, we had an argument. And like all, and I mean all us girls, I said some pretty dumb things, like, like, get lost. I don't want to see you anymore. But he was cool. He just stood there looking so hurt. And he said, if that's the way you want it. And he split. And I just stood there looking dumb and let that man walk right out of my life. And I've been as evil as a wet hen ever since. I told myself I wasn't going to sweat it, but I did. Oh, he was inside of me. And my thoughts, my dreams, every place I went, I saw his face. And my friends, they knew. I know they knew. And then one evening, I was standing at the bus stop, and I heard a voice behind me say, Hi, baby. Oh, I just fell all apart inside because I hadn't heard that voice in such a long time. I turned around, and there he was, looking good. Oh, I just can't tell you how good that man looked to me. And as I stood there trying to maintain myself, he asked me if I had a few minutes. I really wanted to tell him that I had a lifetime, but I couldn't blow my cool. We stopped at a cozy little place. And I guess the shock of seeing him made me order a martini, because that's something that I've never done before. But I felt I needed something stronger than coffee to lean on. Oh. The music was soft, and the lights were low, and that drink had started going to my head. He hadn't said anything about us, so I knew it was my move, and it had to be now. I could feel my nerve building. I couldn't let him go, not this time. Not this time. So I took his hand looked him straight into the eye. And I said, I said, I said,
think we're pretty easy for him to handle. Of course we are. Yep. Are they hard to handle? Oh, boy. <laughs> That's another story completely. I'm sure sometimes we drive them around the bend. Oh, many trees. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> They're not too hard to handle, though, if you think about it a little bit. Well, they cooperate pretty good most of the time. It's nearly a year since we were last here, and we sort of got our producer, we broke his arm, rather, to sort of put in some shots of Sydney so our friends could see it, because it's so beautiful. And it's hard to explain it to them, you know, yeah. because they haven't seen it. And it's one song that we do called Lonely Town, and in it, we have all the shots we could s sneak in. Beautiful. Yeah. Real beauty. <laughs> The usual things, you know, like going to the zoo when Didn't, we can. Yeah, look at the animals. Yep, and they look right back. You're not kidding. And we met some beautiful people here. They invited us to a barbecue, and that was the most beautiful day. It was yeah. Uh, oh, it was fantastic. The steaks were sizzling, and the coals yes. were burning, and the, it yes. was so good, I can't stand it. And we slid down the sliding board. Yeah, and fell. <laughs> Pushed me down, that's what you... Yeah, how about the ferry ride, though? That was really better than anything else. That was groovy. That was groovy. It was beautiful. The sun was beaming, and it was fantastic. And, and the wind was blowing. Yeah, the wind the was hair. blowing Valerie's hair all over Sheila. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But we have very nice friends here. Yes, we always enjoy ourselves when we're nice people. Yep.
Someone left the cake out in the rain. I don't think that I can take it. Oh, because it took so long to bake it. And I'll never have that recipe again. Oh, no. 
What do I think of the girls? I think they're the most beautiful people in the world. Man.